The following private investigations book read aloud podcast episode is being voiced over by actor producer Sidney Rowan, who portrays PI character Rachel Ming. LV55 Media LLC presents Private Investigations Read Aloud, a chronological scene by scene read through of the Private Investigations Book 1 and Book 2 novel for the viewing community. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. As Christine parallel parks her car on the street and turns the ignition off, Virginia looks around the general area at all the retail stores. Where are you going? she asks, somewhat confused. Christine turns her heads and points in a direction behind them. The coffee shop over there, Christine answers before opening the driver's door and exiting her vehicle. Virginia exits the vehicle and quickly walks up next to her friend. That tab's still eating at you, huh? Virginia quips, slightly smirking, watching Christine lock the vehicle. Come on, Virginia, Christine says, as they both start walking across the street. Christine and Virginia enter the coffee shop and walk up to the service counter. As Virginia starts scanning the menu board, Christine, Christine looks towards her. I'm going to find out whose bright idea it was to set up this open tab, his or theirs, Christine. Christine mutters, causing Virginia to smirk. The more I think about it, I kind of find it funny, Virginia replies, still viewing the menu board. Well, I don't, Christine retorts, folding her arms across her chest, causing Virginia to chuckle. Christine, lighten up. Let's order something. My treat. Both Christine and Virginia are still looking at the menu board when Jonathan walks up to the service counter smiling. And what would you two young ladies like to order today? Virginia smirks and points her fingers, points her finger at Jonathan. That's a good one. I'll take a small latte. Christine, what would you like? Christine, still looking at the board, finally looks towards Jonathan. I'll take a small hot chocolate, and we're looking for Jonathan Daniels, Christine says. That's me. What can I do for you? Christine extends her hand out as she and Jonathan shake hands. Hello, Jonathan. I'm Christine Silva, Megan Aquino's mother. Christine gestures towards Virginia, and this is Virginia Lewis, Jennifer's mother. Noah, overhearing the Aquino name again, starts eavesdropping on their conversation and jotting down notes. Jonathan smiles at Virginia as they both shake each other's hands. Nice, it's a pleasure meeting you both, Jonathan responds in an excited tone. I wanted to personally stop by and thank you for helping my father-in-law, Sam, out at out on his kidnapping case, Christine states. Oh, you're welcome. I was glad to hear Sam rescued Megan's sister and everything's okay. Lisa's a pretty cool young lady, Jonathan, smirk, Jonathan remarks. Also, I wanted to thank you for coming to Megan's rescue that day. Jonathan interrupts Christine from speaking while raising his hand and shaking his head. No problem. I did it more to save the guy, Jonathan quips. Megan was going to clean his clock. Virginia quickly covers her mouth and snickers, causing Jonathan to chuckle while Christine stares at the two of them with a solemn expression. I kind of look at Megan and her friends as my younger sister. Jonathan's eyes wet, eyes open wide. Oh, I'm glad you both came in today. Jonathan pulls two business cards from his apron pocket and hands one to each of them, then points towards Rachel Ming sitting at a table nearby. See that lady over there? Both Christine and Virginia look in Rachel's direction. She came in here a little while ago, specifically looking for Megan and her girlfriends. Christine glanced at the business card again, then towards Rachel, then back at Jonathan. What does she want? Christine asks in a curious tone. It has something to do with some sort of young woman's leadership group, he responds. Come on, Christine, let's go talk to her. Virginia opens her purse. How much do I owe? Jonathan deliberately waves both his hands in front while shaking his head. Nothing. It's on the house, he adamantly states. I can't let you do that, Virginia says. No, we're going to pay, Christina states, pulling a credit card from her purse. I'm not going to accept your money today, ladies. Now go over there and talk to the lady, and I'll bring your beverages over in a few minutes. Jonathan says, smiling before quickly walking off, forcing both mothers to briefly stare at one another. I really like him. I'm going to ask him if he's interested in dating an older woman, Virginia says, in a sarcastic tone while smirking, causing a surprised looking Christine to flick the back of her hand against Virginia's shoulder. Virginia, you're married. Not for me, for you. Christine, with her mouth open, momentarily stares at her friend. Noah, smiling, pretends he's working on his laptop while secretly eavesdropping. Virginia, don't you dare. Christina, somewhat embarrassed, utters, Christine, you need to start living a little, Virginia says before grabbing Christine's upper arm and ushering her away from the counter. 
Kenny, using his pen and pencil as drumsticks tapping on the table, is forced to pull his earbuds from his ear when Noah slightly shakes his arm. What? Kenny questions. As Noah nods his head towards Christine and Virginia, I think I might be related to that lady's daughter, Noah whispers. Who? Kenny responds while whispering. The lady standing on the left. For reals? Kenny blurts out, forcing them, forcing Noah to calm his friend. Keep it down, man, Noah asserts in a low voice. I'm going to talk to my aunt about this. Both Noah and Kenny begin observing Christine and Virginia. To learn more about Sam Aquino and the many other characters involved in these mysterious, intriguing, suspenseful, and coincidental fiction stories, purchase a copy of Private Investigations, Book 1 and Book 2, in one volume by visiting Doran's Publishing, available both in softcover and ebook formats, also available at Amazon Books and Barnes & Noble.